Hi there, and welcome to Grapple HQ. I'm the Grapple Researcher, and I'm here today to speak to Ed Lee, the CTO of the company. So let's go find him. So here we are with Ed Lee. Ed, tell us about yourself. So I'm Ed Lee, I'm the CTO at Grapple. Um, I started building iPhone apps uh, as soon as the, uh, the platform became available. Um, and so I spent a long time working on apps, uh, selling them through the App Store, uh, and realized pretty quickly that Building apps that way, it was great. There was a brilliant ecosystem that Apple built up, but it almost became a victim of its own success. Really quickly, Apple had a huge number of applications out there, um, but only available to a very small number of end users. So Ed, why are you all over the web as the iPhone's number one developer? So I built a couple of uh, applications over the, over the years. Um, starting out initially, as soon as the iPhone SDK came about, um, I built an application that let people in the UK set their Sky Plus record from their iPhone. Okay. Um, it made it to the number one spot on the UK uh, App Store charts. So it was the best selling app in the UK for a couple of weeks. Wow. I followed that up with a photo messaging application. Um, it was the only way you could send MMS on the iPhone, so picture messages, right. uh, between iPhones and any other phone on the UK network. Um, Apple hadn't incorporated it into the iPhone firmware. Um, people were crying out for it in the UK. So you filled that gap? Filled the hole, delivered the, the product that people wanted. So where do you see the future of apps going now? So from the experiences I've had in the App Store and the applications I've built, I, I've realised there are two different types of apps. They're the kind of the marketing gimmicks that essentially do nothing. So there's app fluff, if you like, that people will download, they'll use for 10 minutes, half an hour, and then throw away. Just marketing gimmicks. Um, but then there's the, the second sort, the kind of utility apps, the useful things that have function, have purpose, um, that look great but also do something, that keep people engaged, they go back to and they use again and again. I think that's the future. That's the kind of application that consumers actually want and the ones that they'll, they'll keep using. What's the Grapple vision going forward for apps? In the future, I can see apps featuring more and more in people's lives. So not just iPhone users, but everyone with sort of Blackberries, Android phones, Nokia, you name it. I think applications are going to become a big part of, of everyone's lives or a bigger part of everyone's lives. Um, I can imagine uh, advertising campaigns using not only web addresses, but web addresses then followed by a forward slash apps to promote an application for a brand or a product. Using that uh, domain name, that link, uh, people can download an app for whatever is being promoted. And built with the team and the technology that Grapple have built up, we're the only people who can deliver that. So that was Ed Lee. I've been well and truly grappled, and hopefully you will be soon. Thanks for your time. You <laughs>